day one they walk into this building, they're being trained up to be journalists, they're being trained up to be the best in the business. Really, really impressed. Really impressed. A, impressed by the ambition, B, impressed by the professional standards. The facilities that you've got here are fantastic. Everybody works together. Um, the, the facilities are fantastic. The best I have seen at any university doing this sort of thing. And uh, they're getting the, all the opportunities here. The technical skill is fantastic. Like the, the learning how to use cameras, the sound, just the little basics like that. The teamwork that I witnessed today was phenomenal. But also the way that everyone was working as part of a team. So whether you were online or whether you were doing radio, whether you were doing television, everyone kind of clubbed together and it was very much about the stories. I thought it was extremely professional. I, th I think it's fantastic. The, the, the filming is great, the scripting is great, the choice of story ideas is great. The attitude of the students is absolutely phenomenal. The, the bulletin I saw here in the Winchester Journalism newsroom today was probably the best student news bulletin I think I've ever seen. The content was absolutely incredible. That wouldn't look out of place on some of the, the, you know, the regional television slots in the evening. Really, really good, but um, the student fees report on the, the um, demonstrations was just, it was quality journalism. These guys will fit in, fit into a newsroom um, very soon. I don't think they need too much work. Brilliant. It's a really, really good mix and it's brilliantly done. I mean, yeah. genuinely, I was really surprised how professional and clever um, it was and how well it was all put together. You know, the teamwork was excellent. Everyone, uh, everyone seems to know the jobs and what they're doing. Uh, and, you know, you push yourself. How many universities up and down the country will have just been able to do a live programme um, about the budget? There aren't, there aren't many. Earlier this afternoon, the chance... Amazing opportunity to be with the students who I think are so lucky to be in amongst such um, expert tutors who obviously are so in tune with what it's like to be in the world workforce and also the technology you have is amazing. It really provides a great stepping stone for any young journalist to make that transferable step into a professional newsroom. I've been completely blown away by, by you all that you're so professional. This, is, this yeah. doesn't happen in every university, this isn't commonplace, this is uh, something really special that you guys have got going on here. Everything was pretty much as it is in any sort of newsroom across the, the country, across the world, whether it's breakfast, the news channel, the regional newsroom, it's very, very similar. And this, there couldn't be no better preparation, I don't think, than, than being something like this for, for what's out there in the, in the world beyond. Television isn't just about television anymore. You have to be sort of very multimedia skilled. And to have people training you who are on the inside of that industry and know exactly where those changes are coming um, can't be anything but a really good thing. It's a team unit and it's very professional and very slick. And it's the nice thing, having been in galleries before, it's a calmness that's good. And the calmness comes because there's confidence in what people are doing and the skills that they're doing. It's fantastic stuff. It's completely professional. You've got all your auto cues and all of your you know, digital equipment. So I thought that was definitely my favourite part. It will help you as you go on after this course and, and you go into the working environment because you get to experience a little bit of what it's like in a real newsroom. And I did feel that when I was when I was in the gallery. I felt that pre-programmed tension that uh, you know, that we get when we make the shows. Oh, this is this this is definitely very close to what it's like being in the real newsroom. The, the, the walls with the the charts and the you know the jobs assignments up there on them. The, 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 the sounds, the, the, the chat that was going on, the, what people were saying to each other, they're chasing your deadlines. Really, really impressive. Um, immediately when you walked into that newsroom, the kind of buzz about it was, was brilliant. That is not a classroom exercise out there. That is a product that you want people to watch and you want feedback from it. I can only imagine when people look at that, they think that is really good. I think it's brilliant. The rest of the bulletin I was very, very impressed with, particularly I thought the sports element, which was, I think, good enough to grace any of the BBC regional output. To be able to, to do the job week after week, as opposed to just sitting in a lecture theatre and learning about it, I mean, that is a tremendous advantage, I think. Um, everyone had a very well-defined role. One of the things this course seems, seems to engender is confidence. Um, whatever um, your, um, whatever skill levels, whatever the um, subject areas, and whatever equipment you're working with, confidence is absolutely key. Um, so that was the big thing for me, just the confidence of the people. It's, it's really really interesting to see a group of students sort of at the beginning of their learning careers coming in and, and doing essentially running a regional news program um, very successfully it's very very impressive nothing 
nothing beats actually doing the job, which is what you're doing on a daily basis. And they did extremely well. Um, so that was right at the top of the bulletin as the lead story, a real story from the region. To get that grounding, that live production experience under your belt here as a student is absolutely invaluable. Everybody works together. Um, uh, the, the facilities are fantastic, the best I have seen at any university doing this sort of thing. I was thoroughly impressed with the way that they gelled together as a team, didn't panic. So it's no surprise to me that you're getting some big names that come here on a weekly basis to view the work of the students and it's fantastic for the students because if they can take advantage and speak to these people there is potential job opportunities I'm sure further down the line. I tell you what, at this stage, to be doing something like that, that's pretty damn impressive. I'm really impressed. Uh, the fact that everyone's multi-skilling so much and doing so so many different um, jobs in it. You know, it took me a long time to sort of get used to doing the journalism and then to do the technological stuff as well. But here, everyone's doing everything at once. So, very impressive. Um, See? Everyone does the different roles. I think it's really good the way that you move around the newsroom and you learn all the different roles, whether it's from production to news editing to reporting to doing sports uh, features. Um, the students are brilliant. They've just dedicated their focus. Um, we, today we did a training exercise. I've been in this business for nearly 30 years. The stories were plumb in the right order. The website and everything. I, I, I had no idea that journalism students were doing things at this level. It's, it's fantastic. Students now, the minute they walk out of here, they're ready for the business. It makes you so much more employable at the end of the day. The people who work on it were doing excellent work, really, really good professional journalism. And um, there's some very promising journalists here. It's fantastic. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic experience and, and really uh, really will put you in very good stead for future, future careers. Professionals fit for purpose and done by the future of this business.